Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. And we're still here in Phoenix, Arizona. We got one more home game uh, to play here in front of the wonderful fans of Phoenix before we go on the road. We're entering the fourth quarter of the season, Pete. Yes, sir. Coming down to the end, Tommy. We are indeed. Uh, we're going to be showing up against these um, these wild pigs. Boy, they're wild. Yes, <laughs> they are. Although they're struggling this year. Not so wild. A little too tame, maybe. <laughs> they are. They are. So just a ton of new names. Yeah. And like you were saying, you pointed it out, and I think you, you hit the nail on the head. I, with all these new players, it just seems like there's a, like you say, a synergy problem. Just a, just the team not uh, gelling enough in the postseason uh, to bring that over into the regular season. That, that's my that's my guess. And then we got the one new thing here. You can see it on the right. <coughs> we signed Dick Burr. We let go of Barty Bryan. He was making $3.9 million a year, C-plus rank. No, mostly for his speed. Uh, just wasn't doing all that great for us. And uh, we saved some money. Saved $1.1 million, 1. 1 million to pick up someone we knew back in L.A., Dick Berger. Um, Dick's got speed, and he's an okay fielder, mostly to the power, so he's a good, like, pinch hitter. Uh, we kept an eye on him for a little while. So, yeah, that's the <clears throat> that's the newest addition down there in the lower left of the picture. <laughs> um now before we go to today's game, do we? Yeah, no, today's game is the next one, right? We already we already showed you where everyone was on that, so we can quickly check the standings. If you didn't check the uh, the live from the hive, so Pete, why don't you start us off Pioneer Conference? Okay, Pioneer Conference, Pathfinder Division, the Blowfish to the top of Pathfinder with a record of 26 and seven and a plus 46 run differential. Behind them in second place, the Crocodons with a record of 19 and 15. They're seven and a half games out of first place. Yeah, Blowfish favorite to take the whole thing. Yeah. San Diego Planet Pirate, the top of the Uncharted division. Uh, actually, they're tied 19 and 14 with the Oakland Outlaws. Both teams uh, 19 and 14. They both have a one game, well, just a one game lead ahead of the Colorado Buzzards, who are 18 and 15. Yeah, just to touch on the Blowfish a little bit more. Not only does it look like they're going to walk into the uh, the championship, they also secured uh, the uh, the uh, secured. K Frequent, the best closer in the league. Oh, yeah. Um, not, what, two games ago or so. So down the stretch and into the playoffs, you know, if they get a lead, they're going to be hard to beat. Um, but picking it back up, the Pioneer Conference Journey Division, the Grapplers sit in first place with a record of 20 and 15. They have a plus 35 run differential. Behind them in second place, our sister team, the Sandcats, at 18 and 16, find themselves a game and a half out of first place with a plus 16 run differential. All right, it's good. It's a good year for uh, Phoenix teams. The Explore Conference Seafair Division, Houston Jacks out in front where they've been all year, 22 and 11, four and a half game lead ahead of the California Gold Coats, who are 18 and 16 with a you know a respectable record. Yes, sir. And down in the trade, uh, our our nemesis, the nemesis, find themselves in first place. They got a record of 23 and 11, a plus 45 run differential. They have been keeping up with the B Wolves, who have really had kind of a good season this year. B Wolves in second place with a record of 21 and 12, find themselves a game and a half back with a plus 43 run differential. So these two teams are neck and neck and fighting it out. Uh, they are going to face off one more time before the season is over to determine the season, uh, the season uh, grudge match. Um, both teams with a win, so it's 1-1. And like I say, they got that one game left. Uh, the Sirloin's in third place with a record of 16 and 17. They're six and a half games out of first place. The Herbosaurs at 15 and 18 are seven and a half back. And then the Water Bullets at 12 and 21 uh, find themselves 10 and a half back and a negative 31 run differential. They do. Curiosity Division, it's the San Jose Saw Teeth out in front with a 19 and 16 record. They just have a half game lead over the San Diego Moonstars, who are 19 and 17. And the Saw Teeth are the only first place team with a negative run differential. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. <clears throat> That's gonna bring us to tonight's game. It is game 34 of 44. Whoops, a little too far on my menu there. It's the uh, nine and 24 Wild Pigs, worst record in, this, in the league. I guess the rotation ace B Wolves who are 12, 21 and 12. Only game these two teams uh, play this season. So it's gonna be here in Red Rock this year. The Wild Pigs are gonna put their starter on the mound, Donovan Drake. <clears throat> who's locked in, known for his crazy velocity. He's also pretty accurate, but he doesn't move the ball much. He's got an 0-1 record on the season, a 4.23 ERA, and a 1.48 whip. Yes, sir, and backing him up will be the um, locked-in 
uh, but not 100% physically fit. Uh, Renette, catch, the catcher, what is it? Antoine <coughs> Renette? Antoine Renette, the catcher. He's got uh, good power, good ability to detect home, at home plate, but he does not have a lot of speed. He's hitting 200 with five, uh, with five home runs. Run to Horn, the third baseman. Uh, she is uh, tense currently, but she's got the good power. She has less than average ability to connect, good speed on the base pass. She's hitting 255 with six home runs. And then uh, Brett Michaels, the second baseman, he's uh, uh, Bloop Michaels. Bloop, Bloop Michaels, yeah. of course. How could I forget that? I was thinking poison. You know, Brett, Brett Michaels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop Michaels over there at second base. He's tense as well. He's got better than average power, better than average ability to connect, good speed on the base pass, hitting 233 with four home runs. Yeah. Sorry about coughing into my microphone. I thought I hit my mic, my mute button, and I didn't. And I <laughs> coughed and I saw my levels peg. Um, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll get that fixed. Anyway, uh, we're going to put Beavis Ortiz in the mound, right hander, no mostly for his junk. He's also got good accuracy and good velocity. He's got a nice 4 2 winning record on the season, so he doesn't leave here with a winning record. Uh, he'd like to extend it, though. He's got a 403 ERA and a 1.15 week whip, Pete. Yes, sir. Backing him up is uh, Hammer Longballo, the right fielder who, who is locked in right now. He's got good power. He's got uh, good uh, ability to connect at home plate and about average speed on the base pass, hitting 327 with seven home runs. Hanley Dexteris, the superstar shortstop with about average power, but good ability to connect, good speed on the base pass, hitting 328 with 10 home runs. And then the locked-in Steve Monstour, the catcher. Tommy mentioned him uh, as far as the last game was was playing really well. Let's hope he's going to continue that. He's got uh, better than average power, better than average ability to connect average speed on the base pass, hitting 369 with 10 home runs as well. So that's 27 home runs looking at you there, Tommy. Jeez. And they, and they say uh, the B-Wolves have no power. <laughs> yeah, they are wrong. Yes. Uh, we're going to go to the get the lineup for assistant coach. It's going to look like this. Freddie Knox is going to start things off at second base. Freddie Knox is locked in. Uh, so that's a nice change of pace for Freddie. Uh, batting second right behind him, Hanley Dexterous will play his native position at shortstop. And behind that, Hammerlong Ballo will be a right fielder who's also Locked in, play well in a good game. You know who else is locked in, Pete? Who's that? Steve Mon Steve Mon's tour. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's gonna bat fourth and catch today. So uh, uh, we're gonna let um, Clark have a seat, and we don't care if they steal on us because it's uh, this is the worst team in the league. Uh, St Sturdy Woodman will bat fifth to play first base in left field. Eduardo Keller, Eduardo Keller is coming in for Buster Biggs, who's uh, not quite 100. percent He what did he what did he he hurt himself in that last game. What happened? He tweaked a groin, or no? He tweaked a hamstring or something. Yeah, I think so. He was he was trying to get uh, get to base or something, wasn't he? He I legged out. Right. A, I think he legged out a single, but he like you say, I think he pulled pulled his hammy or something. <clears throat> yeah, well, Eduardo Keller is here to. That's what he's here for. So he's gonna he's gonna fill in for him and uh, have a good night. Bertha Banks is gonna be a third base, batting seventh, batting eighth. Magic Moore out in center field, and batting ninth. The guy on the mound, the pitcher. <clears throat> Beavis Ortiz throws the fourth finger, the curveball, the slider, and the fourth pitch. You ready? Fourth pitch. Pete, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. All right. All right. So Wild Pigs taking on the Bee Wolves in Red Rock Park. We got the roof open. Beautiful night here in Phoenix as we get ready to take it in. Coming down. This is. Uh, we got ten games left. Only nine after this one. So get oh, your tickets. Man. Wild Pigs lineup's going to look like this. Forrest going to lead off playing left field. Flail at catcher. Michaels at shortstop. Run to Horn at third base. Bacon at second base. Bologna in center field. Uh, Evans in right field. Pennington at first base. And then the uh, Evans pitching. So as the B-Wolves take the field, Axel Forrest, Blaine Flail, and Bloop Michaels will get ready to face off against Beavis Ortiz, who's going to take the bump with that 4.03 ERA. Look at those unis, huh? Axel Forrest is tense but fit. He's known as a stealer, hitting 275 with three home runs and 14 ribbies. And I'm pitching. Uh, Axel Forrest is uh, tense, like a lot, a lot of the wild pigs today. But uh, don't cut them out. These pigs want this win bad. Beavis Ortiz throws the first pitch of the game. It's a grounder to Freddie Knox, who picks it up, throws it, and they just barely get a wow. Well, that ball just died in the grass. <laughs> But uh, Freddie Knox came up, made the the catch there. Now Blaine fails coming up, the catcher for the New York Wild Pigs, chewing gum. He's a great contact hitter. So uh, swings and misses it. Does not make contact in the first one. Only one of the counts. Two pitches. 
for Beavis Ortiz. He's going to hope to get out of this one quick. Second pitch to Flail is a oh fair ball on the line. Bertha Banks dove for it. Couldn't quite get it. So far, the Wild Pigs are hitting the ball. Uh, he's going to come back to first base. Yep. So luckily, usually a ball in the corner like that is, is a double, but he just gets one. He's showing and some respect for Keller's arm, I guess. I guess so. Uh, I don't know if he needed to. <laughs> Bloop Michaels, a shortstop, tense. 233 on the season, four home runs, 16 RBIs. You heard the call there by the ump. First one's in there for a strike, no swing. Oh, well, pressure up. Hard hit to right field. Hammerlong ball back at the dirt. He's going to make that catch. Toss it back into first base. That's two down. <laughs> They're really tagging it, though. They are for a team uh, that's pretty much all the batters have been tense so far. Everybody's getting good wood on it, except for the first batter, of course. He... Yeah. Uh, Rhonda Horn comes up here. She's she's also tense. 255 on the season, six home runs, nine RBIs. Takes the first one for a ball. The next one comes up, Eduardo Keller. Oh, it goes over his head. Crap. Oh, he overplayed it, Pete. He overplayed it. He runs back the wall, and the, they're going to get they're going to get the first run of the game. Dog gone. On a mistake by Eduardo Keller, the rookie. That goes over his head, and he has to turn back and get it, and the Wild Pigs score the first run. That, I don't know if they should call that an error. I don't know if they did or not. <clears throat> my uh, my friend Wally Bacon at the plate, only hitting 140. Locked in, though. Takes the first breaking pitch in there for a strike. Oh, on the count. He got a fast run at third base. The Buells want to close out here. That one misses up high. We're even now one apiece. Tenth pitch coming up by Beavis right. Ortiz. Swing and a miss, strike two. And we got one more to go. Can we get past the... That one's on the ground. Foul ball. Foul ball. And <clears throat> a sturdy woman couldn't even pick it up. Through. Swing and a miss, strike three. Gets the K. All right. So as we head into the bottom of the first, Wild Pigs with a one-run lead. They got one run on two hits. Freddie Knox, Hanley Dexterous, Hammer Long Ballo are going to face off against Donovan Drake with that 4.23 ERA. They're going to have to tie this one up to get back in it, Tommy. Freddie Knox locked in and fit hitting 300 with a home run, eight RBIs. Donovan Drake throwing his first pitch for a cold strike, strike one. That's down. That one's a low ball, one. One ball, one strike down to Freddie Knox. That's in there for a cold second strike. And very quickly, Knox is behind in the count, one and two. Strike three. Going on a minute, strike three. Down goes Freddie Knox, so one out with nobody on. In steps Henley Dix. There it is. Well, that last one was like a laser beam. That came in here quick. <clears throat> Hanley, 328, 10 home runs, 19 RBIs. Fans cheering him on. Late swing foul off the wall. Oh, the count quiets down a little bit. That one's right in there. It's a pop-up, which we usually don't see. That's going to be caught in center field. <laughs> Bologna, whoever that is. Yep. Two up, two down. Hammerlong Ballo locked in and hit, hitting 327 with seven home runs, 18 RBIs. Two outs, nobody on in the bottom of the first. Swing at a miss, strike one. Donovan Drake does have that speed. That one's pounded into right center field. That's high into the air. The right fielder's moving over to the right center. And Flash Evans will make the catch for the third out. So three up, three down. We're heading into the top of the second. One to nothing, Wild Pigs. Carly Ballone. Flash Evans and Guadalupe Pennington going to face off against Beavis Ortiz, who threw 12 pitches, racked up a strikeout, and gave up two hits in the first. Fielder, four. Carly Ballone, the center fielder, neutral and finish. She's a utility player, hitting 172 with two home runs, five RBIs on the season. First pitch to Ballone is in there for a called strike. Strike one. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike now to Ballone, the Wild Pig center fielder. There's a roller to Woodman. He's going to pick it up, step on first for the first out. One up, one down. In steps Flash Evans, the right fielder. He's tense but fit, hitting 102 with four home runs, 11 RBIs. Wow. A lot of these Wild Pig hitters not even, you know, not even in the 200s. Yeah. Ball high. Seeing a lot of 100 batting averages. That one's high, ball one. One ball, no strikes. Strike. That's in it for called strike. Strike one. One and one now to Flash Evans. Flash Evans, though, can be dangerous. You know that he can turn it on any any time. Strike. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Now he's behind in the count. One and two. Beavis Ortiz going to throw his 19th pitch. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He's going to charge up on it. Pick it up. Make the throw over to Sturdy Woodman. 
and just get Flash Evans. He's got a little bit more speed than you thought. So two up, two down, a lot of Lupe Pennington, the shortstop. She's neutral and fit. Hitting 167 with no home runs, one RBI. And I think I'm starting to sense a little bit of a, oh no, oh, bad play, Freddie Knox, bad play. Hot smash to Freddie Knox, he, he laid out, and he was able to knock it down, but he couldn't corral it. So uh, Guadalupe Pennington gets a single. Donovan Drake locked in and fit. It's his first at bat of the season? That's crazy. How can he be? Okay, that's in there for a called strike. Strike one, throw over to first, and Pennington is back. One on with two outs. Ortiz delivers, and that's fouled off. And very quickly, Donovan Drake now in the hole. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Ortiz delivers. Oh, just off the plate, ball one. One and two now. That one's fouled back into the stands along the first base side. So one ball, two strikes, two outs. Guadalupe Pennington. Oh, and Donovan Drake watches that one goes by, and the lump will ring him up. Three down. So we're going into the bottom of the second. Steve Monstour, Sturdy Woodman, and Eduardo Keller are going to get a first look at Donovan Drake, who threw eight pitches, racked up a strikeout in the bottom of the first. Down Come on, B-Wolves. We've got to get them throwing here. Monstour locked in at fifth. Power versus right-handed pitching, hitting 369 with 10 home runs. He is. Oh, Pete, why? Hits it one on the ground to Blute Michaels and short picks up those at first, just beats him. Yes, sir. One, uh, one, one, one up, one down, one pitch. Sturdy Woodman step in, hitting 366 with five home runs, 21 RBIs. One out, nobody on. In the bottom of the second, that one's ripped hard but foul along the first baseline. Oh, He's out in front of that one, and very quickly, Woodman in the hole. 0-2. Oh that one's outside. One ball, two strikes. Outside. Allen's outside, ball two. Two balls and two strikes now, count evened up. There's a smash into center field, and that'll be the first hit for the B-Wolves as Sturdy Woodman pulls into first base with a single. So one out and one on, and in steps Eduardo Keller. Yeah, he, he's got some heat on this ball, man. Eduardo Keller, 265, two home runs, three RBIs. Lower than average runner at first base. B-Wolves finally put some oh. offense together, but that's on the ground to Wally Bacon. Toss the second for one, back to first, and pulls it out, Pete. Double play. Okay, we're going into the top of the third. Wild Pigs, one run on three hits. B-Wolves, no runs on one hit. Axel Forrest, 0 for 1. Blaine Flail, 1 for 1. And Bloop Michaels, 0 for 1. Beavis Ortiz at 25 pitches with two strikeouts. Eduardo Keller knew he was going to stay up there and take it until he got two strikes. And instead, eh, not so much. I think I'll jump on the first pitch. <laughs> You never know, it might be good. Yeah, well, it looked like it was going to be right in the wheelhouse. And uh, no, you should have waited. There's, There's a, a hard single. Lighter to right field. Amalog ball whips it at first, but they're not going to get him yet. One pitch, one hit. He's not tense anymore, Pete. The catcher. No, sir. Field. Now it's one for one with a single as well. Contact against left headers. Uh, faster than average runner at first base, and the Wild Pigs look like look like a good team today. Oh, hard liner on the ground. That's two in a row. Amalog ball is going to whip that in. Two pitches. No, three pitches, two hits. Now they're racking them up. Phil doesn't make Luke Michaels over one. He's tense right now, the pressure up. But a, but a single makes him untense. <laughs> 28, 28 pitch. This is high ball one, one of the count. B Wolves looking for that triple play. There's one on the ground. For the banks, the second, she's not gonna get him. They don't get anybody. The they don't get anybody. You couldn't, have, you couldn't have turned that play any quicker. And they all beat it out. Now the bases are loaded with no outs. 30th mm -hmm. pitch by Vivas Ortiz to run to Horn. And at the top of the third, the Wild Pigs are threatening to score here with the grand pop fly a third base line. We got one and one count now to run to Horn. is tense, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, keep this in the infield. Grounder. Ball ball, first baseline, one and two. He's got her in a hole. Can he strike her out? He does, gets her on the outside corner. All right, she doesn't like the call. <laughs> She's happened, but anyway, Wally Bacon hit into a double play. So we'll see what happens here. Or strike out. Wally's locked in though. Um, the runners all ball four quarters. That one misses high and inside, ball one. One to the count to Mr. Bacon. 35th pitch by Beavis Ortiz. Bacon swings, follows it back off the wall, evens things up at one apiece. 
Swing and a miss, strike two, one and two. Jesus Ortiz is back against the wall. The second baseman for the Wild Pigs checks on it, but it's strike three. Jesus Ortiz K's two in a row. That brings in Carly Bologna. The Beagles could get out of this, Pete, if they don't give up a single. Carly, the center fielder. Good power hitter, not much contact. Swings and misses at that first one, 0-1. Beavis Ortiz looking hot on the mound lately. <laughs> Early he wasn't. Now looks like he shot fools around that one. Swinging a strike 2-0-2. Oh, Got her in a corner. Oh, the floor drops out, but she doesn't chase. 1-2 the count now to Malone. Oh, that middle just misses inside. The fans wanted it. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Here comes 42nd pitch here in the third inning. Oh, anticipated it. Rips it foul. Third baseline souvenir. There's one on the ground to Freddie Knox who's going to make the easy throw to first base to close it out. Pete the Beagles did it. Yes, sir. So we're going to head into the bottom of the third. It's still 1-0 Wild Pigs. Bertha Banks, Magic Moore, and Beavis Ortiz going to get a first look at Donovan Drake, who's only thrown 15 pitches, wrecked up a strikeout, and only given up one hit. The ZRA has dropped to 3.94. Bertha Banks neutral and fit, hitting 318 with seven home runs, 18 RBIs. We gotta get him to hit. We to pitch, I mean. Yeah, we gotta get him to throw some pitches strike. here. First pitch to Bertha Banks is right in there for a called strike, strike one. Strike. Oh. That's in there high outside we, corner for a called just second strike. strike us. We got a swing now. No, no balls, two strikes. That's that inside. one's inside ball one. He throws two strikes and then he kind of throws all over. Yeah. That one's fouled straight back. One ball, two strikes. There's a roller to the second baseman, Bacon. He'll pick it up, make the throw to first. One out, Guadalupe Pennington at first base makes the put out. Magic Moore steps in. Magic Moore, I think, I think up for one. Fans cheering him on. Right in there for a strike, right? 98 miles an hour, too. Oh, one. Here comes. Oh, that one misses high. Ball one, good eye there, Magic. There's a roller right back the mound. The comeback, he drops it. Doesn't ball, he picks it up. Those are the first. He beats it out. Way to run it down, Magic. All right, so one on with one out, and in steps Beavis Ortiz. He's locked it and fit, hitting 357 with two RBIs. Magic Moore with speed at first base. Throw over to first, and Magic Moore is back. Donovan Drake at 23 pitches now. First pitch to Beavis Ortiz is in there for a called strike, strike one. Allen's fouled back, strike two. No balls, two strikes, one out. Throw over to first, and Magic Moore is back. No balls, two strikes, one out. There goes Magic Moore, and he's out. Oh, wow. Okay. Two outs. Strike three, three outs. There goes Pibas wow. Ortiz watches the third strike go by. We're heading into the bottom, uh, top of the fourth. It's still one to nothing, Wild, uh, wild Pigs. Flash Evans 0 for 1, Guadalupe Pennington 1 for 1, and Donovan Drake 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Ortiz at 43 pitches with 4 strikeouts, giving up 5 hits. Flash Evans tense, but Fitty's 0 for 1 today, hitting 101 with 4 home runs, 11 RBIs. Nobody on, nobody out. Top of the 4th, 1 to nothing. Wild Pigs. First pitch to Evans is in there for called strike. Beepus Ortiz with a big sneeze. Gets ready, throws his 45th pitch outside, ball 1. One ball, one strike, no outs, nobody on top of the fourth. Flash Evans, the right fielder, right. swing and a miss, strike two. Now he's behind in the count, one and two. Ortiz delivers. Allen's popped up, straight up into the air. Steve Monstour steps back just to the grass and makes the catch for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Guadalupe Pennington, the shortstop. She's neutral and fit one for one with a single today. So we're in the top of the fourth. Wild Pigs one, B Wolves nothing, nobody on. Guadalupe Break. Pennington takes the first pitch for Colt. Strike, strike one. Ortiz at 49 pitches. Break. Swing at a miss, strike two, and very quickly, Guadalupe Pennington. The Wild Pig first base person is behind in the count. One, oh, oh, and two, and there's a roller, and that's going to get past a diving Hanley Dexter is in the left field. Keller will throw it in quickly. And it looked like Beavis Ortiz that, uh, looks a little down after that one. Donovan Drake locked in and fit. He's 0 for 1 today. Drake pitching for the Wild Pigs. So Pennington at first base with one out. Donovan Drake squares around to bunt. What is it? Right trigger and then... Bunt. Uh, there you go. Yeah. So the infield comes in the, for the bunt. Drake squares around again, but pulls it back. So one ball, one strike, one out. 
That's in it for called second strike. Drake still squaring around the bun on every pitch. So one and two now. Ellen's bunted foul. Yeah. Strike three, and Donovan Drake is down on strike. So two outs, and in comes Axel Forrest, the left fielder. He's one for two with a single. Guadalupe Pennington at uh, first base. Throw to first, and Pennington is back. Axel Forrest, the left fielder, wild pig left fielder, takes the first pitch for a called strike, strike one. Beavis Ortiz up to 55 pitches, make it 56. There it is, that's going to get into center field. That's a clean single. Throw to second to hold Pennington there. So runners now at first and second with two outs. Blake, Blaine failed the catcher locked in and fit. He's two for two with two singles. Got a glitch on that last one. It like froze and all of a sudden the reticle went somewhere else. First pitch to Flails in there for a called strike. Strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two, and quickly Flail is in the hole. No balls, two strikes with two outs. Swing and a miss, strike three, down goes Blaine Flail. And once again, the Wild Pigs threaten, but uh, can't score. So we're going to head into the bottom of the fourth. Wild Pigs one, B Wolves nothing. Freddie Knox 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Hanley Dexter's 0 for 1, and Hammerlong Ballo 0 for 1. Donovan Drake at 27 pitches with two strikeouts and two hit, giving up two hits. B Wolves, this is our first time through the lineup. Wow. Freddie Knox, neutral and fit, 0 for 1 today. Oh. Swing to the first pitch, foul ball, first baseline. Souvenir. Oh, the count. Donovan Drake looking good. 29th pitch in there. It's a grounder to Bacon who dives to his right, throws to his left and gets him. Wow, what a play by Bacon. Yes, sir. A nice diving stop by Bacon. Hanley Dexterous, neutral and fit, 0 for 1 today. One out, nobody on in the top bottom of the fourth. First pitch to Dexterous is in there for a called strike. Drake at 30 pitches in the fourth inning. That was high and inside ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That one's high as well, ball two. That's in there for a called strike. That'll even the count up. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Hanley Dexterous known as a tough out around the league. That's inside. Takes that pitch, three and two. Count is full now. That ball one's outside, four. ball four. And Donovan Drake has walked Hanley Dexterous. So one on with one out. And in steps Hammerlong Ballo. Winning run at the plate. <laughs> Hammer, Hammer locked in. 0 for 1 on the day. No. Early swing fouled off the net. I'm going to check swing. Oh, they catch him in the rundown. Doggone it. And they take. Doggone it. Man, we cannot get a steal, Pete. No. Nope. <clears throat> we should stop nope. trying. One and one out, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Break. Strike two, one and two, he's in a hole, back against the wall. No. Oh, misses up high, two, two, two. He's throwing, he's rapid fire. Early swing foul off the wall, still two, two, two. 41st pitch. Foul back off the wall, two, two, two. <laughs> Donovan reaches down, fouls it, it's a grounder to Michaels, shortstop, throw to first. Three down. <clears throat> So we're going to head into the top of the fifth. It's Wild Pigs 1, B Wolves nothing. Blue Michaels 0 for 2, run the horn 1 for 2 with a triple and a strikeout. Wally Bacon 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Ortiz at 59 pitches with six strikeouts, giving up seven hits. Blue Michaels tense but fit 0 for 2 today. Yeah, well you betcha. Whoa. Got a little, little tense. Uh, oh, for he's Ortiz throwing his 60th pitch <clears throat> on the ground past the mound, of course. Oh, Magic my. Board's got to run up and get that thing. <clears throat> one pitch, one hit. Now batting, That's the eighth hit the by the Wild Pigs. Beals of two. Run a horn. Tense. One for two with a triple and an RBI. Okay. Well, I got a fast runner at first base and a slow arm at the plate. A pitch out might work. Swing it a minute. Strike one. Hold on the count to run the horn. 259, six home runs, 10 RBIs. There it is. The throw. Yeah. Yeah. Way to call it. They called it, Pete. It's like they were listening. <laughs> the fans cheering now. Now watch, they're going to park a home run. <laughs> 250, here it comes. Oh, misses high and inside. 2-1 the count. Way to get in there, Beavis Ortiz. Base is clear now. Does not chase the way. 3-1, he got it. Here's a pitch to a powerful third baseman. A tense. And there it is, the home run. Oh my gosh. She's like she was listening. Upper deck, right field. On a horn. Says, I don't care. Hearts that 460 feet. It's her seventh home run. 
11th RBI of the season, and the Wild Pigs are up to to Zipper Rooney. <clears throat> Molly Bacon's in now 0 for 2 on the day. What's that? Why is it every time we do something good, something bad's got to come right behind it? I couldn't get a strike against Run the Horn to, to save my life until that last, and then that last one right. Well, think of it this way: striking the ball, uh, you know, could have been two, could have been two run home right. <laughs> Check swing strike two, one and two. Wally Bacon's against the wall. Beavers Ortiz closing in on 70 pitches in the fifth inning. Pop fly in the left field. Eduardo Keller can't mix this one up now, can he? Runs up, he's gonna make that grab. Two outs. We're not done yet. Carly Ballone, center fielder, 0 for 2 on the night, 169 on the season. Beavers want Beavis Ortiz to put her away quick. That's on the ground. It's Dirty Woodman's gonna pick that up. He's gonna toss it to Ortiz on his way to first and pulls it down. All right, so it's uh, Wild Pigs 2, Beavers nothing. Steve Montstore 0 for 1, Sturdy Woodman 1 for 1, and Eduardo Keller 0 for 1. Donovan Drake at 42 pitches with two strikeouts, giving up a walk and two hits. The ZRE's dropped at 3.69. Steve Montstore locked in and fit. He's got power versus right-handed pitching. He's 0 for 1 today. Come on, Steve. Let's get her going here. First pitch to Steve Montstore is in there for called strike. Strike one. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, now to Montstore. No! That one's high, ball two, two and one now. Ball high. That one's high as well. Three balls and one strike to Steve Monster, the B-Wolf catcher. Four, That's way back. outside, ball four, and Steve Monster will take first. So one on with no outs, and in steps Sturdy Woodman. Let's we'll see if we get him thrown out at second. Sturdy, one for one with a single. I uh, got an average or speed runner first base, locked in, Donovan Drake starts off with a strike, 98 miles an hour, oh and one, he can't hit it. Little grounder between short, oh, shortstop. Michaels picks up, goes to second, but it's too late. And he runs it out. A good, good single there by, uh, by Sturdy Woodman. Yes, sir. Runners now first and second with no outs. Eduardo Keller, neutral and fit. He's 0 for 1 today. Come on, Eddie. Eddie bunts down the third baseline, and it looks like he's going to be just get him by a step. But he does move the runners to second and third. So one out and in steps Bertha Banks. Right, that kind of worked. Bertha 0 for 1 of the day. An outfield single gets two runs. The Beagles fans know it. They're screaming. Oh. Reaches out. It's a grounder to second. Bacon goes to first, but the Beagles are going to get the tying run, Pete. Or, no. no sorry. He's going to score one run. It's 2 to 1. Uh, Wild Pigs. Magic Moore steps in. He's 1 for 1 with a single. Runner at third base with two outs. A single will tie the game. First pitch to Magic Moore is in there for a cold strike. Strike one. That's down. That one's low ball, one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Oh, oh that catches the inside corner for a call. Second strike, one and two now. There's a bloop to Guadalupe Pennington, and she'll make the catch. But the B-Wolves are on the board, so as we head into the top of the sixth, it's Wild Pigs, two runs on nine hits. B-Wolves, one run on three hits. Flash Evans, 0 for 2. Guadalupe Pennington, 2 for 2. And Donovan Drake, 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Ortiz at 70 pitches. Right fielder. Flash Evans. Evans tense, but Fitty's 0 for 2 today, hitting 100 on the season. Tommy, I can't remember another season where Evans hit so poorly. He's the strikeout leader every oh, year. Wow. Oh! He didn't strike out on that one. He, that one's going oh. deep to left center field, and that's going to be gone. Oh. And Flash Evans has hit a home run, making it 3 <laughs> to 1. So just as the B Wolves finally get on the board, Flash Evans hits one 401 feet. That's his fifth home run and his 12th RBI of the season. And again, the Wild Pigs make it a two-run game. Guadalupe Pennington locked in and fits. She's two for two with two singles. Nobody on, nobody out. Top of the six. Wild Pigs three, B-Wolves one. Ortiz at 71, make it 72 pitches. That one's a low ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a smash to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick that up. He'll make the throw over to Sturdy Woodman for the out. One out and in steps Donovan Drake, the starting pitcher. He's locked in and fit. He's 0 for 2 today, though. Nobody on with one out. Wild Pigs with that 3 to 1 lead. Drake takes the first pitch inside ball one. That's in it for called strike. One ball, one strike, one out. Ortiz throwing a 76 pitch Strike. in there for a called second. Just catches the low outside corner. One ball, two strikes now to Drake. There's a roller to Sturdy Woodman. Oh, it takes a weird hop, and he's going to flip it. 
to Beavis Ortiz, who's covering first base. Wow, that was a weird hop, Tommy. <laughs> Axel Forrest, the left fielder, steps in neutral and finishes two for three with two singles. Two outs, nobody on in the top of the sixth. First pitch to Forrest is outside, ball one. Axel Forrest, the wild pick left fielder. That's in there for called strike. One ball, one strike, two outs. Beavis Ortiz throws his 80th pitch, and Forrest pushes it foul along the first base side. One ball, two strikes. That one's a flare. That's going to reach the stands on the third base side. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Forrest hitting 286 on the season. One of the better hitters for the Wild Pigs. And he drives that one into the stands. Unfortunately, a curved foul. Well, fortunately for the B Wolves, if you would have straightened that out, that would have been another home run. One, two, one ball, two strikes. There's a roller now to Bertha Banks. He's going to pick it up and make the throw and just get Axel Forrest by a step at first base. So we're going to head into the bottom of the second. It's B Wolves, I mean, Wild Pigs three, B Wolves one. Beavis Ortiz 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Freddie Knox 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And Hanley Dexter is 0 for 1 with a walk. Donovan Drake at 55 pitches with two strikeouts. Beavis Ortiz neutral and fit. He's 0 for 1 today, hitting 333 with two RBIs. It's time, Tom. It is time. Oh, okay. Time. Uh, looks like they're going to pull Beavis Ortiz here in the sixth inning. And uh, puts put in the pinch pinch hitter against uh, Donovan Drake. Who's looking great against us. Only 55 pitches. The, the, the Wild Pigs are pounding us. Worst team in the league. <laughs> and they're going to bring in the Ham Man. Ham Slam. It's a shortstop. Uh, the 318 on the season, three home runs, 13 RBIs, power hitter with good contact and fair speed. Uh, so let's see how Ham stacks up against Donovan Drake. Drake comes right at him. It's a liner on the ground straight to Bacon. Wow. One pitch, one out. Wow. Come on. <laughs> Freddie Knox, neutral and fit 0 for 2. Ham slams right to the second baseman and 0 for the first out. One up, one out, one down. That one's a low ball one. One ball, no strikes. That one's inside ball two. Two balls and no strikes. That catches the inside corner for a called strike. Two and one now to Freddie Knox. That one's way inside ball three. Three balls and a strike. That one's ripped into left field. It's curving foul out of play. Full count now, three and two. That one's outside ball four. And Donovan Drake has walked Freddie Knox. So one on with one out and in steps Hanley Dexteris. All right, and Lee, over one of the walk. Uh, you know, a two-run home run ties this thing up. Do you know that, Andy? <laughs> uh, looking close at first base, throws the first pitch. Center for strike, 97 miles an hour, over the count. And Lee, inside, he gets out of the way of it. No, he's got to come back. He's got to come back. Wow. It's like, the, it's like they did that on purpose. The pitch gets past me, picks it up right away, throws it to second base. That's there for ball. Two and one. He's looking at first. Great. Strike inside corner, two and two now. The tough out Haley next stairs. There he goes from third base. It's a floater, the throw, it's not going to be in time. And, and uh, Freddie Knox at second base. Ball four. That's high, and he walks Haley next stairs. Didn't need to steal. <laughs> so two on with one out, in steps hammer long ball over the right field. He's neutral and fit. He's 0 for 2 today. That's going to be the end of Donovan Drake. Donovan Drake's yeah. going to take a seat. They're going to bring in the A minus relief pitcher, Kendra Kerr. Kendra Kerr with a 3.60 ERA, 1.37 whip, 26 strikeouts. She's neutral and fit. She's got average velocity. She's got better than average junk and average uh, accuracy. She's not fully rested. Um, she's known as a K dud. She does throw a four seam fastball, a two seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So. As we get into the bottom of the sixth, again, runners at first and second with one out, and in comes Kendra Kerr to take over the duty for Donovan Drake. First pitch from Kerr. Kerr is in there for called strike, strike one. There's a there's a wild pitch or pass ball, more like a pass ball, and, and they're both runners are able to move up. So runners at second and third now with one out. That one's low ball one. One ball, two strikes, one out. Swing and a miss, strike three, down goes Hammer, but long ball though. So now runners at first, second and third with two outs, Steve Montstuer stepping in. Um, 
Yeah, Stevie right. takes the first one. Oh, a oh. strike. See, he's giving him a wide zone. Oh, on the oh. early swing strike two. We're gonna strand him, Pete. Pops it up behind home plate. Get foul. foul yes, off into the stand. Still 0-2. That one's a ball. Come on, Stevie. That one's down the ground. Ball two. She's done some wild pitches. Two, two, and two. That's inside. Inside ball three. Way to go. <clears throat> that one on the ground, and she walks Steve Monster. Bases loaded, Pete. Yes, sir. Bases loaded. Two outs. Sturdy Woodman steps in. He's neutral and fit two for two with two singles. The B Wolves really need to push somebody, get a couple across, at least one across the plate here. Bases loaded. No! That one's popped no! up into sh sh shallow left field. The third baseman's out, and Rundle Horn makes the catch for the third out. And we're going to be heading into the top of the seventh. Uh, we need a Man. pitcher, a pitcher, not a belly itch. Boy, it's just uh, oh, so frustrating. Bases loaded, a pop up. Case Braha is going to come in, take relief here on the top of the seventh inning. Case has got a 4-4-4 ERA, a 1-4-0 whip, 27 Ks. Throws the ball hard. He's got good accuracy. He's well-rested. Throws a four-finger, and it mixes it up in the slider and a changeup. Yes, sir. So he's, we head into the top of the seventh. It's Wild Pigs 3, B-Wolves 1. Blaine Flail, 2 for 3 with a strikeout. Boot Michael, 1 for 3. And Runda Horn, 2 for 3 with a home run, a triple, and a strikeout. Rajas with that 4.44 ERA now takes the over the duty pitcher. on the pitcher's mound. Number Lane fail. Flail two for they say two for three. Uh, Barajas starting off fresh here. The seventh, hopefully he can just shut these guys down. Be able to get back in this thing. No. Instead, it's a hard liner straight in the center field. One pitch, one hit. Boy, that's like the third inning we've we've had this. Yeah. Now battle. The short Dang, Blue, Michael, Hopefully they're setting him up for that double play. Blue Michaels one for three. A single slower than average runner at first base. Not too much to worry about. Case can turn it around. Hard liner deck stares and catches it, goes back to first. But he's right on. Line drive out. <laughs> Here comes Ronda Horn. Two for three. The home run a triple and two RBIs. <laughs> Dangerous hitter. This is the test. Case Brajas. Oh! Gets up under her chin. She ducks back. She looks angry. She's swinging at this low and away pitch now. It's a foul, third baseline. One apiece. Fifth pitch by Barajas. Hardliner, third baseline, souvenir. One and two, he's got a good spot. Can he drop her? Can he? Will he? Fouls back off the wall. Still one and two to run a horn. Third baseman, the New York Wild. Swing him at strike three, he drops her, Pete. Way to go, Case. That's got to give him some confidence. <clears throat> it brings in Wally Bacon, my co-restaurant tour owner. 0 for 3 on the day. Got to run at first base. Two outs, pressure up. Higgs hoping to add to this lead. Swing and miss, strike one. Wally Bacon. He's got enough power to go along. Fouls that back off the wall. 0 and 2. He's got one home run this season. Oh, that one's down. Good stop by Steve Monsoor. 1 and 2 to Wally Bacon. Two outs, top of the seventh. 3-1 Wild Pigs. So we're going to miss strike three. He K's him. Yes, sir. So we're going to head into the bottom of the seventh. Wild Pigs three. B-Wolves one. Eduardo Keller 0 for 1. Bertha Banks 0 for 2. Magic Moore 1 for 2. Kendra Kerr at 12 pitches with one strikeout giving up one walk. Her ERA's at a 3.53. Eduardo Keller neutral and fit 0 for 1 today. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Eddie. Keller facing off against Kerr. Starts off with the ball. Good eye. Good eye, rookie. One and all the count. Ooh, that, that one also misses low for ball. Two quick balls. 15th pitch. The locked in pitcher goes right at him. He pops it up third baseline. That's going to be foul. Can they get there? Ah. They do run to horn reaches over grabs it. One up, one down. Bertha Bank. Banks neutral and fit. 0 for 2 with an RBI. Again, losing the teams they should beat. This is just not... That's over the outside corner for called strike. Strike one. Bertha Banks in, in the batter's box. That one's inside ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. Break. That's over the inside corner for a called second strike. Kendra Kerr, K Dud is starting to. Uh, that one's low ball two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. That's down. That's ball three. Three balls, two strikes with an out. Ball four. Ball Take four, and Kendra Kerr has walked Bertha Banks. So again, B Wolves getting base runners. They got to get them across the plate, Tommy. I think they've, I think they've had more walks than hits, <clears throat> and Kendra Kerr's going to have a seat. 
They get two. They're going to bring in Hander O Especialo. Hander uh, is got a three six two ERA, B minus rank reliever, one one eight WHIP, twenty nine Ks on the season. Uh, he's known mostly for his junk, which is crazy, and he's got good accuracy. He's mostly well rested specialist. Also, K does throws a four finger, mixes it up with a slider and a curveball. The lefty southpaw is going up against Magic Moore with one out in the bottom of the seventh. That was right in for strike. Oh, the count. Fans, fans didn't know. There's a little, oh, Texas lead to Wally Bacon. It goes back to first, and Bertha Banks is back with an upbeat. Two outs. Runner at first base. Case Barajas hitting 500. He's neutral and fit today. Two outs. Bertha Banks at first base. There's a oh. line drive to the shortstop. Luke Michaels makes the catch, and we're out of the inning. We're going into the top of the eighth. Wild Pigs three. B Wolves one, Carly Ballone 0 for 3, Flash Evans 1 for 3 with a home run, Guadalupe Pennington 2 for 3, Barajas threw 11 pitches, racked up two strikeouts and gave up a hit. Carly Ballone neutral and fit, a utility player 0 for 3 today. Jeez, how can we be, how can we not be hitting? <laughs> I don't I know, understand. Against, against the worst teams, we're always yeah. doing the worst against the worst. First pitch from Barajas is in there for called strike, strike one. Ballone, the center fielder for the Wild Big swing and a miss, strike two. And Barajas out in front of Ballone now. No balls, two strikes. Oh, just inside. And the ump doesn't give it to him. One ball, two strikes now. Here's a roller to Barajas. He'll pick it up. Make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Flash Evans. He's tense but fit. One for three with a home run and an RBI. Still only hitting 108. One out, nobody on in the top of the eighth, Tommy. Rajas delivers the first pitch in there for called strike. Strike one. Strike. That's in there for called second strike. And now Flash Evans in the hole. No balls, two strikes. That's inside. Oh, just inside. Ball one. A one ball, two strikes, one out. Strike Swing and miss, strike three. Down goes Flash Evans. Case Barajas now at the first baseman. What is it? Uh, three strikeouts. Guadalupe Pennington locked in a pitch. He's two for three with two singles. Barajas with 30 strikeouts on the season. First pitch to Pennington's in there for called strike. Strike one. No balls, one strike, two outs. Nobody on in the top of the eighth. That's high. Ball one. Pennington anticipating that pitch. One ball, one strike. She fouls that one straight back, and now she's behind in the count. One and two. Case Barajas delivers That's low oh. ball two. That'll even the count up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. There's a, oh, oh, that's a single in the center field. Just past Case on his backside. Couldn't make the twist fast enough to pull that in. Pennington, though, is just hitting the ball. Hander, Especial neutral and fit, hitting 500 on the season with an RBI. So, Especial, the pitcher, takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. Allen's a little off the plate. Ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Throw over, and Pennington is back to first. One and one. Barajas delivering his 27th pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Handero Especial now behind in the count. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Oh, that one's inside. That evens the count up at two and two. Ross delivers oh. low oh, ball on. three. Full count now. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Barajas versus Especial. There's a roll. Oh, a oh. roller, and that's he makes sure that he doesn't that nobody gets the oh. out. If he just let it go, it would have it would have been an out. Yeah, that one uh, again, a hard hit ball to, to Barajas who he couldn't he couldn't field it, and nobody else could. So Especial makes it to first. Runners at first and second with two outs in steps. Axel Forrest. Fouls that first one back, strike one. No balls, one strike. That's down. That one's low ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Keith Baraja still have fooled him completely. Four swings and misses. And now he's behind in the count, one and two. There's a shot. And that's gonna be and that's gonna be out of the range of a diving. And that's going to go home, and unfortunately, everybody's going to get an extra base because of that. And now it's four to one. Runners at second and third with two outs. Blaine failed three for four with three singles. Again, this guy, you can't get one past him, this guy. Although he yeah. did strike, I think he struck out his last time up. 
First pitch to Flails in there for a called strike. Strike one. There's a roller, and that's going to get past. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, boy. Two runs. And oh again, Magic Moore makes the off. Oh! <laughs> Way to go, Handley. Yeah. <laughs> this is pathetic. No, this is just freaking oh, pathetic. So. Being crushed by the worst team. Yeah. Flail with a single to center field. Magic Moore throws home to try and stop the second run from scoring. And, uh, and they're out yep. of position. Yeah. Another run. <laughs> yeah. I got to yank this guy. I got to yank him. He's just awful. Case Barajas letting us down. Run to Horn, two for four. Runner at second base with two outs. Get out Case of here. Case Barajas just that fell apart. Face again. Gasser Morris coming in. 1.4 ERA and a .94 whip, 38 strikeouts. First pitch to Run to Horn's in there for called strike. Strike one. That one's popped up into center field. Magic Moore is there. Makes the catch for the third out, and thankfully we're out of here, but we gave up four runs in the top wow. of the eighth. Yeah. Wild pick seven, b Wolves one, Freddie Knox 0 for two with a walk and a strikeout. Hanley Dexter is 0 for one with two walks, and Hammerlong Ball 0 for three with a strikeout. Especially threw three pitches in the seventh the inning. Baseman, uh. Freddie Knox uh. locked in and fit 0 for two with a walk. Number 15. So they're going to pull Blaine Fail, the catcher, who is, I mean, hitting a ton really today. I mean, he's killing us. Uh, but they're going to make a defensive substitution. They're going to bring in the A minus Aiden Renette. Aiden Renette with no errors, a 200 batting average of five home runs. He's locked in but strained. He doesn't have a lot of speed, but he's a, a better than average fielder with a, a less than average arm. So Special is going to start up the eighth inning. Hard lander down the line. Oh, it's just foul from baseline. Good cut, though, by Freddie Knox. Pitch skips in the dirt, almost hits him with a foot. Good patience. One apiece. That's inside. Holds up inside. Another good lie. Two and one. The ball. That one also misses outside. Three and one. He got hitter's pitch to Freddie's Knox. Nope. That's a little not liner on the ground to Michaels. <laughs> Throw to first. One down. Henley Dexterous neutral and fit. 0 for 1 with two walks. Nobody on, one out, bottom of the eighth. Wild pick seven, B-Wolves one. That pitch is in there for a called strike, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Hanley Dexteris very quickly in the hole, 0 oh and two. Hander Ospeciala, K Dud. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. Ball that one's inside. inside, ball two. Two balls, two strikes. There's yeah. a smash, that's gonna be out of here. A home run for Hanley Dexteris. That'll put the second run on the board, so it's 7-2. Hanley Dexter has hit that one 397 feet. It's his 11th home run and 20th RBI of the season. And here we go, Hammerlong Ballo 0 for 3 today. Oh my gosh, 0 for 3. Well, Hanley got us to within 5. <laughs> First pitch inside, ball 1, one look out. Hammer hoping to get out of his run here. That one also by 90 miles an hour, 2-0. 16 pitch, early swing, foul ball, first baseline, souvenir, 2 and 1. And, oh, outside corner, 2 and 2 now, but here gets the K Dud. Losing velocity already. Oh, Pete. Oh, Hammer swings at an awful pitch. Now <laughs> Steve Montstewer locked in and fit. He's 0 for 1 with two walks. Was special, known as a specialist, two outs with nobody on. Bottom of the eighth, wild pick oh, seven, oh. Buell's two. Two quick balls to Steve Von Stewart. That's in there for called strike. Two balls, one strike, two outs. No. That's high ball three. Three balls and a strike with what? Two outs. There's a roller to a special. He'll pick it up, make the throw to first for three outs. So heading into the ninth inning, wild pig seven runs on 16 hits with no errors. The Buell's two runs on four freaking hits with yeah, one it's error. the worst team in the league. Wally Bacon 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. Carly Ballone 0 for 4. Wally Bacon neutral Wally and fit Bacon. 0 for 4 today. My thumb hurts. <laughs> I quit. My thumb hurts. Well, at least Case is into the game anymore, Pete. He can't hurt us anymore. That one's in there for strike. 0-1. Gasser Morris looking great tonight. 
Late swing fall off the wall with two. Gas are going to hold. Gas are going to drop him on number five. Pete, watch. Oh, instead he parks at the center field deep. It's a home run. Wow. And the Wild Pigs win. That's a Wally Bacon home run, my friend. Three, 438. It's only his second home run in the RBI of this season. And the Wild Pigs are going to the show, Pete. <laughs> now batting the center fielder, number four. <laughs> 0 for 4 is Carly Malone, the center fielder. She wants hers, too. She's got two home runs. Here it comes. Oh, she makes that swing but misses. Oh, on the count. Seventh pitch by Gaston Morris on the ground to uh, Sturdy Woodman is going to pick it up and jog it down himself. Get that first out. Flash Evans has got a home run of his own. He's tense, one for four. He's got an RBI as well. Flashy hoping to give it another go. Hard foul off the net. Oh, on the count. He's angry. Gasser Morris throwing his ninth pitch. He's going to get past him, though. Strike 2-0-2. Oh, two. Gasser not impressed. Got throw number 10 and drop him. Swinging a strike three. He strikes the most struck out man in the league. The first baseman. That gets him a Guadalupe Pennington, the shortstop. Three for four, three singles locked in. So this is Gasser's uh, big challenge. Oh, almost hit her in the hand. She backs out. One on the count. Fouls that one third baseline. In the grass. One apiece now. One and one with two outs. Pop set one up in the center field gas for more season. He's going to go back past the mound and grab that for the third out. Heading into the bottom of the ninth, Wild Pigs eighth, B-Wolves two, Sturdy Woodman two for three, Eduardo Keller 0 for two, Bertha Banks 0 for two with a walk, Spectaculo at 23 pitches with one strikeout, giving up one hit. Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman, neutral and fit, two for three with two singles. All right, Sturdy. The specialist go. starts off with a strike. What crazy bend on that. 0-1 oh, on the count. No, this is outside corner. Does not chase. Good patience. One apiece to Sturdy Woodman. Yeah, popped up. That one's in there. A little early pop set one up. That's going to be an easy catch. Wally Bacon's going to go back and get that in the shallow center field. One up, one down. Eduardo Number Keller, the left fielder, neutral and fit. 0 for 2 today. Nobody on. One out. Bottom of the ninth. B Wolves need six to tie, seven to win. First pitch to Keller's in there for a called strike. That one's low, ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That one's fouled off along the third baseline. Keller now behind in the count, one and two. That's called strike three, and down goes Eduardo Keller. So two outs, nobody on, and in steps Bertha Banks. He's even calling ball strikes. Bertha Banks 0 for two, and they're gonna let him go. Handler's Michelle, they're our fourth pitcher. Alana Lantana, that's the name of the pitcher who's gonna get the save here. It's a double switch, actually. She's got a 303 ERA, 106 and 41 Ks. She knows the four-finger cut finger slider. The other one is out of the game, coming Flash Evans in right field. They're going to bring in Godfrey Storm. Godfrey Storm has a big arm, and that's why they're doing that. He's a utility player as well. So Storm in right field, Lantana on the mound. Breaking pitch crazy. Misses outside, one on the count. Bertha Banks. That's down. Now misses low, 2-0. Oh, Bertha Banks, a seasoned batter. Great. That one finally makes a strike. So now the safety's off. Two and one. She's coming rapid fire. Break. Two quick strikes. He doubles it up now. Two, two, and two. Double. Followed off the wall. Back. Still two, two, and two. Sixth pitch by Lantana. Break. In there for a K, and they win the win on a strikeout. <clears throat> and the B Wolves lose yeah, badly. Suck. Badly. God bless we it. Are, we gotta apologize. That that yeah, was Yeah, that's disgusting. bullshit. That is just bullshit. That was, I'm sorry, but that just pissed me off. That was awful. Beagles, well, we knew the Wild Pigs were going to come to play, and they did. They scored first in the first. Beagles decided to not do anything about it. And then they get another one in the fifth. Beagles score one, make it interesting. But the Wild Pigs reassert themselves in the sixth. Beagles don't respond. Then the Wild Pigs just beat Case Barajas about the head and neck. Get four runs in the eighth. Beagles get one measly squeaker. Wild Pigs add another in the ninth just to... Just as an insult. Wild Pigs get eight runs on 17 hits. Beeble's just two on four. And they tack on an error to make it just that much worse. Uh, for the Wild Pigs, Forrest comes in. Look at these. Now, almost everybody hit. Forrest goes three for five with a run. Gets an RBI. Uh, Blaine failed four for two with two runs. Two RBIs. Four for five. Up. Four for five, yeah. Blaine failed. Great day. Great day. Seth, or no, I'm sorry, Aiden Renette, the sub comes in, doesn't hit. Luke Michaels, two for five. 
gets an RBI. Uh, Rondo Horn goes two for five with a run, gets a home run, two RBIs, strikes out twice. Wally Bacon, one for five with a run, and that's his one hits a home run and the RBI. Strikes out three times. Bologna, the only one who was really disappointed for the pick, she goes over five. At least she didn't strike out. Flash Evans, one for five with a one. That one was a home run. Gets the RBIs, two str- uh, strikeouts. Yeah, they got, would they get uh, three home runs? Yeah. Um, yeah, Lantana comes in, sub doesn't hit. Guadalupe Pennington, three for five with a run. Uh, Drake goes over three with two strikeouts. Disappointing there. Kerr subs, no hit. Especially all subs, goes one for one with a run. And uh, Godfrey Storm subs does not hit. And then for the B Wolves, uh, here's the low lights. Freddie Knox, yeah. 0 for three. He did walk once, but he struck out once. Henley Dexteros goes one for two, scored a run, hit a home run. Uh, he racked up an RBI and he walked twice. Hammer Long Ballo, again. Great and then nothing. 0 for four with two strikeouts. Steve yeah. Montstor, 0 for two, with, uh, scored a run, walked twice. Uh, Sturdy Woodman goes two for four, the only bright spot. Yeah. Eduardo Keller, 0 for three with a strikeout. <laughs> Bertha Banks, 0 for three. She scored, uh, she had an RBI. Um, she walked once and she struck out once. Magic Moore, 1 for 3. Beavis Ortiz goes 0 for 1. Ham Slam is 0 for 1. Case Barajas, 0 for 1. And then Gary, uh, Gas Moore, Gasser Morris did not hit. Uh, uh, Donovan Drake comes in, gets a win. Throws five, it was never in jeopardy. He throws five in the third innings, gives up just three hits. One earned run, walks four batters, strikes out two. His ERA drops to a 3 8 2. He's now 1 1 in the season. Uh, Kerr comes in, throws an inning, gives up nothing. Uh, walks two batters, strikes out one. Uh, the re- her record stays at two and two. Oh, Especialo comes in, throws two and a third innings, gives up one hit, one earned run. Two strikeouts, gives up one home run, though the only one of the Beebles. Uh, the ERA's is, his ERA is now a 3-6-3, three, three. he's 1-1 one, one on the season. And Alano Lantana comes in, throws a third of an inning, gives up nothing, K's the final batter of the game. Her ERA drops to a three and O, oh, and she's one and one on the season. And for the B-Wolves, B- uh, Beavis Ortiz will take the loss. He pitched six innings, gave up 10 hits, three earned runs, six strikeouts, two home runs. His ERA is at a 4.08, and his record will fall to four wins and three losses. Case Barajas comes in. He pitched an inning and two-thirds, gave up six hits, three earned runs, three strikeouts. His ERA jumps up to a 5.19. He's got a record of one win, two losses, and two saves. Gasser Morris pitched an inning in the third, gave up a hit, an earned run, one strikeout, and gave up a home run. His ERA is at a 1.67, and his record will remain three wins, one loss, and four saves. Three stars of the game, run the horn, the first, uh, the B-plus third baseman for the Wild Pigs, two for five with a home run, a triple, two RBIs, and she scored a run. Wow, great game. <clears throat> Blaine Phil, the catcher, they, they pulled him at the end for a, for a better arm. A B-minus rank. Goes, number 18 goes four for five, two RBIs and two runs. And then the third star of the game, Superstar Shortstop. Superstar! Listen to these numbers. One for two. He went one for two. <laughs> he hit a home run, had an RBI, scored a run. Gamer stats. Tommy G hit two hits. One was a home <laughs> run, so he got an RBI. Uh, he stole a base, and he struck out four batters for a contribution of 53%. P.J., Got two hits, one RBI, and struck out six batters for a contribution of 47%. There you go. Wow. Well, this game sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't wait to hit the road. Boy, we do we do really poorly against the bad teams. Oh, I don't Real. even I don't even understand that. A yeah. freaking team. There's everybody on that team was hitting 100. How did you know, how did they come up with yeah, I don't. They're just parking them off us, man. And I was, was gonna. I gotta say, it's gotta be. It's gotta be operator error, right? I mean, it's gotta be us because, you know, that's just how yeah. it is. But man, that don't seem right. That don't seem right at all. Yeah, it was a home run fest in that one inning. Four runs, just teeing everything off of Brass, and he couldn't. He couldn't put the ball anywhere. Either. Like he'd, he'd be aiming for an up, you know, an outside corner, and it ended up right in the middle on the top, you know, and. Just yeah, it was it was not his night. It was ugly. Yep. 
player development, can we can we afford anything? No, we can't. Uh, can't afford five games, two games. Two games, we can get uh, on-field drills for Magic War. Hmm. Yeah, that could, that could, no, that could be Why, something. he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wouldn't suck so bad. Be a better fielder. Could be a stealer. All right, well, shoot. Okay, there's some moves out here. Let's, let's talk about the news. At least that's interesting. Um, <clears throat> player development for cross-training for Wild Keller. He can do cross-training <clears throat> for just over half a million dollars. Uh, he'd add one to his power, one to his connectivity, one to his speed, and a 5% chance to gain power against right-handers. And during the game, I guess Bloop Michaels offended a Wild Pigs coach and was replaced by Pewter Fisher. They released the 30-year-old Bloop Michaels, the shortstop second baseman, A-. minus. They, could have, they couldn't have done this before the game. Before the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they picked up the uh, C-plus 35-year-old uh, left fielder, first baseman outfielder. Um, they lose in every way except for fielding and arm, and they only gain by very small amounts. Um, but Blue Michaels was making $11,300,000, and uh, Pewter Fisher is going to finish out the season in New York, and he's only going to take a salary of two million three hundred thousand. So they're going to save about nine million dollars. Yeah, wow, wow. Uh, Muhammad Smalls gets signed onto the Moose, replacing Todd Despot. Wow, the thirty-one-year-old third base shortstop Todd Despot, with B rank, was known mostly for his connectivity at ninety-seven. Uh, wow, so he was making seven point four million dollars a year. He was replaced by Smalls, thirty-nine-year-old, uh, C ranked. Known mostly for his arm, which they do gain in that uh, arm. They also gain some power, too. Uh, Small's going to make $1.9 million a year to play in Detroit City. So, yeah, we are going to hop on the road after this for just one. We're heading out to Colorado to play the Buzzards. Uh, Japani's going to face Elwood, and then we're going to come back at home where Devon's going to play uh, Vanderwink for the Sirloins. That's a big game. They're back on the road again for the Platypi, where Bender faces Zumar. And then we come home against the Nemesis, where Beavis Ortiz faces Williams. And that's the start of our longest home stretch of one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five straight home games in a row. And then we finished uh, finish the season on the road, huh? Uh, two, yeah, at the, two at the Herbosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Ten more to go. I don't know, man. You, you see a game like that, and you're like, we don't, we don't really even deserve postseason play. That's just, just horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we could lose that badly to such a bad team, we're yeah. done for. Oops. And it really, I mean, it kind of started with Beavis Ortiz, because I mean, you know, like I say, they got ten hits off of Beavis Ortiz. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So he wasn't doing very well either. Yeah, but. it's really a gasser. Did that great. Well, all right. We won't dwell on it too much longer. We will see you out in uh, Colorado, uh, in the Colorado Springs against the those buzzards. Hopefully, we'll do a little bit better then. Um, until then, uh, this is Tommy G. And this is PJ. We're saying, get out of here.